I'm going to show quickly how to use SmartBook. SmartBook is a four-phase process. If you open up the pane over here, you'll see it is preview, read, practice, and recharge. You'll primarily spend your time in read and practice, but the preview is that. It's a preview of the chapter. I always equate it to whenever you're about to read a textbook, you always, or at least I always look at how many pages I'm going to have to read. So like, what are you getting yourself into? So that's what this is. You'll see that there's 22 pages in this chapter. And really, after you look at this, you can go ahead and move on to the read phase by clicking on the read button down here, or in this pane by clicking on read. You'll notice that areas of the text have already been highlighted. So that is the most important parts of the text for you to read initially. So I would suggest coming in here and reading the highlights initially. So if you'd like to move to the next highlight, you can click on this marker with an arrow, or you can click on this yellow shaded arrow right here. And let's say you read through all these highlights. Once you get to the end of the chapter, you're going to move on to the practice phase. If you'd ever like to read the the DIMS text, you can click on it and it'll come back so you can read it like a normal textbook. But let's say you've read all the highlights and you're going to move on to practice. I'm going to move here. You're going to start answering these questions. And you're not penalized for getting the questions incorrect at all. You're, you're only given credit for getting it correct. So the goal for you in this chapter is to get 40 questions correct. Once you get the 40 questions correct, you're done with the assignment. So for this first question, it's a true-false question. I'm going to say false, that most employees don't trust senior management. And I'm going to say that I think I'm correct. I'm not really totally sure, but I think I'm correct. So I was correct. So what happened is I got a point for that. So again, the point for you is to get all these correct. I'm going to go through and start answering some of these questions. So if you get a number of questions wrong in a row, this will pop up. It's the coach, and it'll tell you that it, it may be a good time for you to go back and read some more because you're not ready to, to do the assignment yet. Um, you don't have to listen to that, but it, it's a good thing to do. I'm going to choose to not listen to it this time and go ahead and keep answering these questions. And what you'll see is that as you answer more and more questions, the read phase will light up and you'll see that the highlights will begin to change. So each student will start to get a different set of highlights. You'll see I got a lot of questions wrong, so now more of the textbook has been highlighted for me. Anything that you get right will be highlighted in green. So that'll, that'll mean that you got a question correct in this area. So you see I got that question correct about about employees not trusting senior executives and you see right here it says approximately 85 percent of senior executive survey believe that the public trust in business has gone down and again you could see that you see most employees don't believe that uh, and their bosses act uh, with integrity so Again, use this to your advantage. It's, it's more of a study tool than it is anything else. Other parts to this, if you'd like to increase the font size, you click Increase Font Size. Decrease, you can decrease it. You can also turn off the highlights if you'd like to at any point. And again, read it like a normal book. The final part that is, is just for you again is recharge and this will come up in later chapters and what it does is it brings back content from prior chapters that you may be about to forget so if you're trying to study for a final exam or a cumulative exam of sorts it may be good to go in here and do additional questions other than that that is smart book let us know if you have any questions